What a perfect day for a swim, at least for the Lake George Polar Bears Club, whose members today plunged into the lake and splashed in a new year. Our Josh Einiger was there. For almost 200 people in Lake George this New Year's, today was just another day at the beach. And I'm one of the crazies that actually swim. <laughs> Your friends, do they do this too? Um, I asked a couple. They think I'm a nutcase. They won't do it with me. Catherine Spencer and her mother, Lori, prepared to plunge into this frozen lake. Today was their third time. It's, it's actually quite a yeah. rush. It's a lot of fun. It's, uh, I think the biggest drag about the whole thing is getting up New Year's morning and going out. You know, but besides that, you get in the water and it's, it's a real thrill. Every New Year's Day for the past 29 years, the Lake George Polar Club has rung in the year with a splash. Are they all nuts? Uh, well, some of them are. Some of them are just a little hungover. Others just, uh, it's a yearly tradition just so they can bring in the new year. And what a better year to do it. Today was the event's first year without its founder, Charlie Papa Bear Albert, died last June. Today, a record number of swimmers commemorated his legacy. As the Spencers dried off and warmed up, they said they were invigorated and ready for the new year. Awesome. Yes. yes. We'll do it again next yeah, year. Yeah, we're doing it next year and the year after that, as long as they keep doing it. Yeah, we hope they do, too. In Lake George, with photographer Rich Frederick, Josh Oniger, News Channel 13. Papa Bear would be proud. 150 hardy souls jumping into the icy waters of Lake George this New Year's Day. The polar bear swim was a go, even without the man who started it all. He passed away this spring. Fox 23's Carrie Rollins has the story. Perhaps the longest 10 seconds of their lives, shaking and shivering as the countdown nears the end. About 150 in bathing suits, wrapped in towels and blankets, some wondering how cold they can go. This is my first time. Others old pros, coming back for more. Swimsuit season starts now. It's the polar bear swim that almost wasn't. Charlie Albert, better known as Papa Bear, the man who started the New Year's Day tradition 28 years ago, passed away this spring. This swim in his memory. This guy was just a perfect, he was a perfect man, okay? and. Um, we miss him. We had a little moment of silence tonight for him. On one, it's go. <laughs> Within seconds, the swim is over. Back on dry, or rather, snow-covered land, human popsicles, now on defrost. My feet are a little bit, a little numb right now. Can't really feel them. <laughs> Ever since I've been doing it, I've never been sick. With snow like this on the ground and water that cold, this is about as close as I'm getting to being a polar bear. She's got the same idea. These guys, no chickens, visiting from Brazil. When they wear bathing suits, they don't need blankets. It's very hot. I mean, summertime in Chile. But I want new experience. For these two, it's better late than never. We came all the way from Troy and got a speeding ticket on the way. Yeah. We just had to do this. And chances are, they'll be back again next year. In Lake George, Carrie Rollins, Fox 23 News. They are taking the polar plunge. It's the big chill Lake George style on this New Year's Day. Hi, everyone. I'm Greg Floyd. And I'm Ann Hughes. First on Fox tonight, the members of the Polar Bear Club doing today what they do on the first day of every year, diving into the frigid waters of Lake George. But there was one thing that was very different this year. The polar bears had to do their thing without their leader, Papa Bear, the man who started it all. He passed away this spring. Today's swim in his memory. Fox 23's Carrie Rollins has the story. <laughs> Perhaps the longest 10 seconds of their lives, shaking and shivering as the countdown nears the end. About 150 in bathing suits, wrapped in towels and blankets, some wondering how cold they can go. This is my first time. Others old pros, coming back for more. Swimsuit season starts now. It's the polar bear swim that almost wasn't. Charlie Albert, better known as Papa Bear, the man who started the New Year's Day tradition 28 years ago, passed away this spring. This swim in his memory. This guy was just a perfect, he was a perfect man, okay? And um, we miss him. We had a little moment of silence tonight for him. On one, it's go. Within seconds, the swim is over. 
back on dry or rather snow-covered land, human popsicles now on defrost. My feet are a little bit, a little numb right now. Can't really feel them. Yeah! <laughs> Ever since I've been doing it, I've never been sick. With snow like this on the ground and water that cold, this is about as close as I'm getting to being a polar bear. She's got the same idea. These guys, no chickens, visiting from Brazil. When they wear bathing suits, they don't need blankets. It's very hot. I mean, summertime in Chile. But I want new experience. For these two, it's better late than never. We came all the way from Troy and got a speeding ticket on the way. Yeah. We just had to do this. And chances are they'll be back again next year. In Lake George, Carrie Rollins, Fox Not 23 be back News. This year for the swim, the father of their event, Charles Albert, passed away this spring, but it went off without a hitch in Papa Bear's memory. Beginning of last week, they called and said uh, they weren't going to have it, asked us to do it, and we said yes. Thanks to Charlie, we have what we saw here today. We saw hundreds of people here today, and that was a tribute to Charlie, as far as I'm concerned. Over the years, the polar bear swim has raised thousands of dollars for charity. Plans for next year's swim are already Welcome underway. Welcome back to a New Year's Day tradition. A bunch of hearty souls plunged into the new year today by taking a cool dip, make that frigid dip, in the icy waters of Lake George. The swim has been a popular annual event since Charlie Papa Bear Albert founded the Polar Bear Club 28 years ago. This year's swim honored Albert, who died in May at the age of 66. Similar events took place across the country. Been the temperature. But that didn't keep the local polar bear club from taking its annual plunge in those icy waters. Look at him go. You see Andy in there, Tommy? <laughs> <laughs> <See him? laughs> no way. <laughs> the swim at Shepherd Park was begun more than 20 years ago by the late Charles Papa Bear Albert. This year, as many as 2,000 people came to Lake George to watch, though a slightly smaller number actually took the plunge. Still a lot of people in there. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> You'd yeah, never see me do it. They think I'm a nutcase. They won't do it with me. Catherine Spencer and her mother, Lori, prepared to plunge into this frozen lake. Today was their third time. It's, it's actually quite a yeah. rush. It's a lot of fun. It's, uh, I think the biggest drag about the whole thing is getting up New Year's morning and going out. You know, but besides that, you get in the water and it's, it's a real thrill. Every New Year's Day for the past 29 years, the Lake George Polar Club has rung in the year with a splash. Are they all nuts? Uh, well, some of them are. Some of them are just a little hungover. Others just, uh, it's a yearly tradition just so they can bring in the new year. And what a better year to do it. Today was the event's first year without its founder, Charlie Papa Bear Albert, died last June. Today, a record number of swimmers commemorated his legacy. For Charlie. As the Spencers dried off and warmed up, they said they were invigorated and ready for the new year. Awesome. Yes. yes. We'll do it again next yeah, year. Yeah, we're doing it next year and the year after that, as long as they keep doing it. Yeah, we hope they do, too. In Lake George, with photographer Rich Frederick, Josh Einiger, News Channel 14. Well, the only problem with the water in Lake Jarrah, George sort of sounds like Lake George. It may have been the temperature that didn't keep the local polar bear club from taking its annual plunge in those icy waters. Look at them go. The swim at Shepherd Park was begun more than 20 years ago by the late Charles Papa Bear Albert. This year, as many as 2,000 people came to Lake George to watch, although a slightly smaller number actually <laughs> took the plunge. It was a great time for one brave bunch to plunge through the new year by taking a cool dip in the icy waters of Lake George. The Frigid Swim has been a popular annual event since Charlie Papa Bear Albert founded the Polar Bear Club 28 years ago. This year's swim honored Albert, who died in May at the age of 66.